brothers here with the National Council, finally being recognized as a chapter. Um, introducing ourselves, my name is Ishpreet Singh. I'm the secretary of this coming year. Uh, my name is Neville Patel. I was president last year and now treasurer. Uh, my name is Jack Sundu, and I'm the VP for next year. We're going to go ahead. So I guess this presentation is just going to be kind of um, first an introduction of our chapter, um, some kind of history behind it, uh, the service events that we've been doing, um, some other major events that we've been doing as well. This is the first time anyone, this is the first time any colony has ever presented at a convention, so we just wanted to give you guys an overview of what's going on. Sorry. Uh, you should, a lot of people don't know this yet, but uh, we're a new colony of the University of Miami, founded May 10, 2008. Uh, we have five founders, and we're going to explain to you who they were and what they mean to us. Uh, at New Colony, Greek life's not very big. Uh, we're the biggest uh, chapter on our council. I'm president of MGC, and right now MGC is about like 55 people altogether. IFC is one frat is about 65 people, so we're a very, very small Greek community, but we're all very uh, collected, and we all discuss things uh, throughout the campus, so we're, we're very well known. Um, yeah, and in 2010, 2011, we're uh, National Colony of the Year, so we're making big, big moves in Miami. Um, this next section, we're just going to go over our founders a bit and um, kind of explain to you guys what they mean to us, what they've accomplished, and how that has set the foundation of what we strive to accomplish as a chapter. So starting off with Brother Supra, uh, Anand Sastri is his name. Uh, he won a research grant for Fight for Eyesight in 2010, uh, Blue Ship Scholarship of Delta Epsilon in 2009, um, he's currently a fourth year medical school student at the Miller School of Medicine in Miami. And right now uh, he's going to uh, ophthalmology, he's applying to ophthalmology school, Baskin Palmer, it's uh, the number one eye institute in, uh, in the US and also the world. So this is, he, he's very uh, prominent to us and I do research with him all the time on, on the campus. So yeah, he's an awesome guy. Yeah. yeah most of you guys know this guy. Right, so. Uh, our second founder, Swat Nopital, he was heavily involved in the fraternity since he joined. In 2010 to 2011, he was a candidate for Student Leader of the Year at the University of Miami. He was also president of ISA for two straight years, and he was on the board his first year, and he ended up getting the ISA Lifetime Achievement Award. He was also um, heavily involved, and he was on National Council too, as the uh, Director of Marketing. And he was the Brother of the Year in 2008 to 2009, and he was recognized as the National Brother of the Year in 2009 and 2010. Uh, currently, he's studying medicine in the islands, and he's a second year student at the Cayman Islands. Most of you guys know him as Mr. Swan. Uh, this is Brother Michelangelo Emmanuel Birchman. He's also a medical student. He's going into radiology, uh, and uh, uh, this is fourth year also. Uh, he was vice president of uh, executive student government uh, at, at the Miller School. So not only do uh, new, not only does New Colony exemplify leadership within the school, but past school and grad school and their future careers and things like that. This is Ashish Shah. Um, he was vice president of the Southeast Region of the U.S. American Medical uh, Association student section, and he's also a fourth year student at the Miller School of Medicine in Miami. And he's going to be a neurosurgeon. So, All right, so this is Amai Kuntur. Um He was actually my pod master, and he uh, he had a, he had a really strong presence for us at the University of Miami. Um, he ended up being the him and Swamp were the last two founders um, to leave, and he kind of like wanted to set us on on a path to getting to chapter status. It was his goal to like get it before he graduated, but obviously we needed to put in a little bit more work. So. Took a few extra years, but we finally made it. Uh, currently, he he spent like the last year in grad school in Alabama, and he at the University of Miami he helped found the council that we currently are in, the multi ethnic Greek council, and he worked as the BBB treasurer and service coordinator. He's also worked in student government as the senator of the College of Arts and Sciences, and he was an event coordinator for AGLO, which is like. Association um, organization at, at the University of Miami, and like I said, he's got a master's. 
Okay, so kind of building upon what we were saying before, we really look to these five guys, uh, the founders of our chapter, to kind of build off on them and take what they did to inspire us to become even bigger and to expand the mission of Delta Epsilon Psi. So um, we now have 10 brothers who are pre-med, kind of following in their footsteps. Um, so, and, and, not, and even those who aren't pre-med are uh, still either business or law or anything else. And uh, they're all on a very good track to becoming very successful. We also hold a lot of leadership positions on campus, including the ones listed above, President of MGC, double here, President of ISA, Vice Chair of Gandhi Day of Service, which is a huge service day at the University of Miami, um, Vice President of Young Democrats, uh, Logistics Chair of Miami Mayhem, and the ACC Leadership Symposium, and also Treasurer of uh, UA. And uh, as Neville said before, we are the largest organization in MGC. So we're working with a very small green community, but we try our hardest to leave the big spark that we can. And these are, these are all sophomores. These are, uh, well, now I'm a junior, but President of MGC, that's me, and then uh, Sid Umapati, you probably know, most of people know. He's President of ISA. Vinay is uh, Vice Chair for Gandhi Day. Uh, Ish is uh, Young Democrats. Logistics Chair is uh, uh, Nikesh uh, Doshi. And then uh, ACC, that's me, and then Treasurer of U8 is Sufan Fareed. So we're all, we're all juniors now, and we're making big moves. So, and then we're gonna continue that later. Uh, calling achievements. Uh, these are things that were all received from uh, AGLO, uh, Association of Greek Letter Organizations on our campus. Uh, National Colony of the Year. Uh, we also founded Sugar Spike Off uh, in 2009. Uh, University of Miami, uh, the recognitions up here are all uh, with the, their corresponding dates. And uh, yeah, it's just to show that, yeah, we're, we don't, we're in Miami, so we're not that prominent. Like up north, our, the closest chapter to us is Theta, which is three and a half hours away. So, yeah, Theta. Uh, so it, it's kind of hard for us to get out there and meet all you guys in person, but we try our best, along with all the stuff that we do, to to meet up with you guys. It was a struggle just to get us three out here. So um, we have like our classes from County to Ada, and at the beginning it was kind of like really hard to. Like for the first like couple of classes, it was hard to get like a good amount of people to come out and join. But ever since we've gotten through Gamma through uh, Ada class, we've gotten more people to like see our fraternity and like kind of like get really interested in it. And it's helped like our reputation grow on campus, and it's and it's kind of like helped us expand from not just like I say, but also to like the Asian students and uh, also also a couple of like other like. And also, uh, uh, another thing is ju just like NC had, where we had a we have a very big like expansion rate from Gamma to Epsilon class. Gamma had Gamma had seven, Epsilon class had nine. So it was a dramatic increase in the amount of uh, intake. So now what we're trying to we, we always try and pick the best of the best at the University of Miami, and that's what we're trying to do. So all of our all of our brothers are leaders in our in in anything that they do. So I guess we can go into a couple of service events that we've been doing. Um, our signature one, Sugar Free Bowl, Bowl of Marin Drives, and Sugar Spike Off. Um, next slide talks about Sugar Free Bowl. Uh, one of our campus's biggest events, um, and previously we've donated over $3,500 uh, from that event to JDRO. Uh, Sugar Spike Off, we created this one. Uh, obviously it's Miami, so everyone loves beach volleyball. Uh, um, I was ref last year, just like Iman was in that picture. So it, it's an awesome time to see like all the uh, sororities come out in like bikinis and stuff and play volleyball, and, which is awesome. And then we also raised money. So and then we also raised uh, uh, 2,500 last year for uh, for this event, which is awesome. And it, it's fun. We, we usually just have pizza and stuff like that. It's a great time and it's a great way to endorse Jay Garo. Uh, okay, so operations. Thanks. 
expand that to not just like medicine, but other areas or other interests that brothers might have. Because not every, not all of us are all interested in medicine. So like maybe like what we're trying to do is like connect it with this other service project that we're going to talk about next called PC Hookup, where where we take computers from like well-off schools that like have like expanded and gotten new computers, and we take their old ones through a contact we have in Miami Beach who ends up fixing up the computers so that we can then donate them to areas that need them in other countries. And for us, it kind of helps build on our um, on our goal of expanding our service to international areas as well as. Uh, uh, this is a picture uh, that's Anna and Ashish uh, and Katie and they're. They're doing what they always do, medicine. Um, this is 2012, 2013. This is just a little bit of the things that we did. Uh, I'm not gonna go through everything, but service and social, so we're involved in both aspects very uh, very highly. And uh, yeah, and then we have average more than 30 hours of service per brother. And that's our ongoing service projects, all these. We try and do one service event every weekend, so go out, party on Friday, and then Saturday morning. <coughs> Dedication. And then this last night, we just thank you to everyone for coming here to convention, for supporting us, even just coming to convention, as Etsy said, shows that you guys are committed. Um, everyone here carries Eastside's mission forward. It shows that we do have that brotherhood, discipline, and commitment. And also, we do want to thank National Council for recognizing us as a chapter. We've worked very hard, and that we've heard it, so I hope we'll continue to carry these messages forward as well. <laughs>